Hi, you're here sewing with Cody. In today's video, we are going over a very popular question that I get, and that is what is the difference between the fairly new Bernina B77 Plus and the Bernina B790 Plus? Because as you can see, they now look very, very similar with the exception of the shiny black piano front on the B790. So in this video we are going to go over basically what makes these two machines different. They are very very similar um, but there are a handful of things that make them different and that will give you a better idea of which one may be best for you. And as always if you like the video give it a thumbs up and always subscribe to the channel. So let's take a closer look. So here we are face to face with both the Bernina 770 and the Bernina 790. So in this video series we are comparing the 770 with the 790 because like I mentioned these are two of our most popular machines but the biggest question that I get is what is the difference now between the B770 plus and the B790 plus. So here in this video we're going to answer all those questions and so everyone can get a much better understanding of the difference between the two. So one of the first things that I want to go over is a question I get all the time is are they the same size? Yes. The, all the 7 series from the 700 to the 710, the 740, the 750, the 770, the 770 plus, the 735, the 780, the 790, every member of the more current generation 7 series, they're all the same size. So you've got that 10 inch throat space as you see with both of these are the same chassis, same height, everything is pretty much the same. And now with the current generation 7 series, which consists of our 700, 735, 770 plus, and 790 plus. They all have the seven inch, easy um, to see, easy to operate, centrally located seven inch touch screen. And so the touch screens are the same. Now we see here that this one has a green background, that one has a blue background. As you've seen in other, my, in other videos that I have is you can adjust and change those different backgrounds to whatever, you, whatever color you want and you can even add textures to the background. That's here nor there. All, both of these machines have the big jumbo bobbin which you can see here. It has the built-in dual feed which is kind of like a, a built-in walking foot. Um, Nine millimeter stitch width all of those things are all in both of these machines. These are some of the most common questions I get when people are comparing these two machines. Both of these machines are fully capable of sewing and embroidery and that's the case for all of our current um, sewing 7 series. So the 735, 770, and 790 they all can sew and embroider. And as you notice they all have the same buttons on the front of the machine because they are very very similar to each other there's not a whole bunch that's different but what is different is the stuff that we're about to cover so one of the first things that is different with the 7 series is the BSR mode and so there if you're familiar with any of this and you've seen a number of my other BSR videos is the 790 has two BSR modes. There's a BSR mode 1 and a BSR mode 2. To sum it all up, BSR mode 2 will pause stitching when you pause moving your fabric. So when you're moving your fabric it's going to stitch and when you stop moving your fabric it's going to pause until you start moving your fabric again. Both of these machines have BSR mode 1 and 2. However, with the 770 Plus they added the mode 3, BSR mode 3. So if any of y'all familiar with the Bernina Q series, we already had a BR BSR mode 3 ever since the Q20 and the Q24 came out. The BSR mode 3 is the basting stitch. So we can have, if I remember correctly, it's you can have one stitch per inch, two stitches per inch, or four stitches per inch when we are using the BSR. And that's great for basting. So that's one thing that the 770 has that the 790 doesn't have. It doesn't mean that the 790 won't eventually get something like that in an update because it's something very simple, but currently the 770 Plus has that that the 790 doesn't have. 
Something that's new with the 770 Plus is now we have our history stitches, which is something that we've seen ever since the 780, the 790, the 830, the 880, we have our history stitches. So these are the last 15 new stitches that we used in the machine and how we used it. So if we change the stitch width, change the stitch length, needle position, all of those different things, if we changed all those things and we stitch, actually stitched it out, it will automatically save it in our last 15 new stitches. This is something that the, 7, the regular 770 did not have, but the 770 Plus does have it, but this is also something the 790 has had since the very beginning. So some of our big, true, really big differences with the 790 are our directional sewing, our 360 directional sewing and sideways motion and all these um, different large, larger than life decorative stitches. And this is something that I will show. Um, so some of the things that we'll go over, it, um, I'll talk about them and some of the things I'll actually show. because. Seeing it really gives you a better understanding of what it actually is and how it actually works. And this is something that I'll actually show. I've shown it in other 790 videos, but since this is a 790-770 comparison video, um, I'm gonna go over that here. So what this 360 or directional sewing is, so there's two things I'll show you. So the 790 has a lot more stitches when it comes to variation. So if we go to our stitches, we can go and we'll see all of our all these different folders. And there are a number of folders that have these multi-directional arrows. So you can see here folders 200, 500, 1200, 1800, and 1600 folders. They all have these multi-directional arrows in the corner. So that means these stitches basically will move the feed dogs in multiple different directions aside from just moving it forwards and backwards. So we can see here we'll select stitch 1602 and we can see how large that stitch is on the screen. Can remember all of our stitches we see on the screen are always to scale. So what we would do is we would change and use the number 40C foot, which is what's recommended. I currently don't have a 40C here, but the, the 1C will work perfectly fine. And you'll notice when, we'll, when we're stitching, the fabric is actually gonna move in multiple different directions. So you can see it's moving the fabric left and right to create these much larger stitches. So here we can see these stitches are much larger than the nine millimeter capability of the traditional stitches or like the 770. So the 770 cannot make these very large stitches and these stitches we use all the time in quilting. They're great for quilting small borders, for sashing, because you have a number of different stitches that are built into the machine that are very large. And so this is part of that directional sewing. Something else that's really nice is with the 360 degree sewing is we don't have to use a stitch that's a directional stitch like this one. We can use just a regular old straight stitch and we can come and we can say, okay, I need to sew a patch on a sleeve. So if you've got like a jacket or a sleeve and you can't rotate that sleeve around this free arm, you can get the sleeve on the free arm, but you can't rotate it on there, but you need to sew on a patch. So what you're able to do is you're able to slide that sleeve on there onto the free arm. And let's just say we want to sew a patch on. So I can select my straight stitch. I can come to my eye screen, come to my multi-directional sewing. And I can say, okay, so I need to sew towards the right. So I can line and have my plat patch in place. And I can say, okay, I need you to sew this direction. And then, okay, I need you to sew backwards. Then I need you to sew towards the left.
and then maybe I need you to sew at that 45 degree angle. So you're able to do all of this without needing to rotate the sleeve. It's pretty cool and very practical. So this is something that the 790 can do that the 770 can only dream of doing because this is not something that the 770 can ever do because it's something that is mechanically different in the 790 and for instance the 880 plus. So that is a 360 and directional sewing sideways motion uh, feed dog system. So the next thing that's different with the 790 that again only the 770 can pretty much dream of and that's stitch designer. This is something that the 770 will never see um, and that's this icon right here. So this is stitch designer. So you can, I've got a number of videos on stitch designer. So you could come say select a decorative stitch. So we've got this vine here. You can come to stitch designer and you can alter that design. You can take bits and pieces out. You can draw your own stitch from scratch. You can save it. You can transfer it to other Bernina machines in like a current generation. So you can't transfer some of these stitches to a machine that's 10, 15 years old. Uh, but all of our current model machines, you can transfer stitches. But I can select different parts of the machine. I'm sorry, different parts of the stitch. and I can delete different things. I can select all, I can select different parts and pieces with the design. And I can alter it completely. So now you can see on the side, our stitch looks completely different from how it looked originally. So you have a totally different design just from a pre-existing design we were able to alter in stitch designer. I'm always manipulating and changing different stitches um, on the 790 or even like the 880 has this function as well to create a different stitch that I want to make a more detailed stitch. We're also able to turn into a triple stitch which the 770 is also able to do um, just in a different fashion because the 770 does not have stitch designer. But for instance so if we wanted to let's say start select this design and we want this design to be a triple stitch so I can go to stitch designer I can come here say select all and I can turn that design to a triple stitch you can see how much bolder it is here and now this design will stitch out as a triple stitch I don't know if you notice but our foot keeps changing to accommodate the stitch that we're working with even if we alter the stitch. So that's something that's really ni nice on these machines. So now it's recommending a number 20 C foot. So let's go over to the 770 and let's change, say that same stitch, I'm sure we have it over here. Let's see, yeah, so we have that same stitch over here. So now if you wanna change this stitch to a triple stitch, you just go to your eye screen because we don't have stitch designer and here's our triple stitch function. So here we have the ability to change stitches that already exist in the machine and change them to be triple stitches. The same thing the 790 can do is just in a slightly different location. But the 790 does have stitch designer. This is another big thing that makes a 790 computer different from the 770's computer and what it's capable um, of doing. Something else that is a little interesting, um, but I'm sure will change in the future. And depending on when you're seeing this video, it may have already changed. Um, so the 790 actually only has about 1300 stitches. Um, and that includes pretty much all, like the total number of stitches, where the 770 plus has over 1800 stitches. Um, so the 770 plus when it came out, because it's a slightly newer model than the 790, they gave this machine some new stitches. So as you can see, there aren't quite as many folders as we see over here, but there are more stitches in these folders. And so there are some cool stitches, like some holiday stitches that this machine doesn't have, and some other novelty stitches that this machine doesn't have, including some um, quilting style stitches. So this machine, the 770, being a quilter's edition machine, has more quilting stitches. 
compared to the 790. It has quite a bit more stitches, a good whole page more stitches than the 790. Now, because the 790 does sideways motion, there are some sideways motion or extra large decorative alphabets on the sewing side on the 790. And so if you go to your alphabets up here, you'll see all your different alphabets. The very last one, this one, these are monograms. So these are designed to be stitched as one letter. Great for like handkerchief, towels, or I mean not like tea towels, something really lightweight, something you want to put an initial on really, really quick. So let's say I, can, I need to do something really quick or something really delicate. You don't want to have to bring out the embroidery or anything like that. So let's say if you just want to stitch out the K. So we can see here it's quite large. So when you are stitching some one of these alphabets out, you want to make sure you're using some type of stabilizer to really stabilize that fabric. I don't have a piece of stabilizer handy, um, but we'll see how it works with what we have here. I do have two layers of fabric. But what it will do is it will stitch out this letter K nice and big. Now, as you can see, it's just a beautiful letter K. And you can see it's quite large. So if you look at our screen, it's 44 millimeters wide and 32 millimeters long. And all you really have to go back, go back and is cut this jump stitch going from here to here. And you'd have a simple, perfect little monogram. So again, this is something the 790 can do that the 770 can't do because of the mechanics of the 790. So some of the things that are different as with what comes with the machine, the 790 does come with a few more feet than the 770. So the 790 comes with 10 different feet. The 770 comes with about seven. Um, so some of them are the 790 comes with the number two A foot. So the number two A foot, you'll be using stitch number three, which is your overlock stitch. So the overlock stitch and the overlock foot, number two A, is excellent, which you can see on the screen here, is excellent for kind of finishing off the edge of your projects. It's similar to what a serger does, it's just on the sewing machine, so it doesn't cut your fabric, uh, but really prevents the fabric from unraveling along the edges. It kind of holds that seam nice and flat down. So the 2A comes with the 790, but does not come with the 770. The number five foot, which is your blind hem, comes with the number, comes with the 790. And your jeans foot comes with the 790, which it does not come with the 770. The number 40C, which is a foot that's more highly recommended for doing these much larger decorative stitches, decorative stitches that we've done. Um, so 770 is obviously not going to come with that. You don't need it for this machine uh, because it cannot do those functions. The one foot that the 770 comes with that the 790 does not come with, and this is something you would want to add to the 790 if you are a piecer, someone who needs a nice, perfect, beautiful quarter of an inch stitch, would you would want to use the number 97 or the 97D. Most likely the 97D because these machines do have the dual feed and you want to make sure you're using a D foot, the D standing for dual feed, and you cannot use a dual feed unless you have a D foot on. So the 790 does not come with a quarter inch foot, but the 770 does, and that's because the 770 is a quilter's edition machine. Other feet that both of these machines come with are your number one foot, which is your everyday foot, um, they also come, so it comes with a 1C and a 1D. So what you see here is a 1C. What you see over here is a 1D. And you can see that cut out in the back. So that means it can use that dual feed. So both these machines come with both of those feet. The other thing is your automatic buttonhole foot, your zipper foot, your 20 foot, which is your, it's a 20C that comes with it. It's your open toe embroidery. So if you notice, there's a number of times we've been messing with some of the stitches and they recommend, let's see if I can find one. They were recommending that you use a 20C foot. Let's see if I can get it to tell us. Yeah, so like this time, this particular stitch, because we made it a triple stitch, it's recommending the 20C, which is your open toe embroidery foot. 
They both come with the BSR, which is your, uh, is your Bernina stitch regulator. So those are the feet that come standard with both of the machines. So some of the other differences are when we go to the embroidery side of the machine. So let's go over to the embroidery side. To do that, you just hit the house and hit the embroidery hoop. So one of the first things you might see is we've got four folders over here where over on the 770 we've only got three. And this is a big one for me in my opinion because um, I'm always manipulating and changing things on these machines because that's what I find fun. So we can see here, so both these machines have different alphabets, different um, built-in designs, and we'll jump over to the heart, and these are all the designs that we saved on the machine. Either designs you sent to the machine um, via Wi-Fi with the version 9 software, or designs you altered and saved on the machine, they're all going to be here. So the 770 has those three folders. Um, however, the 790 has an additional folder. These are all of your decorative stitches or all of your stitches from the sewing side. This is really cool because we're able to easily select some of these decorative stitches. Say this little teddy bear. We're able to bring these decorative stitches over onto the embroidery side. And now we can make them as big as we want. We can use this design as a quilting design and quilt our quilts. So I could say, I could go to the midi hoop, which is a nice big hoop. I can come here and change the size of this design. And I can use this design as a quilting design because it's just basically an outline stitch. It's perfect for quilting. You know, we can make it four inches, five inches big and plop it in all of our quilt blocks or our, like a baby quilt. Super, super easy. And this is just decorative stitches. The 770 can't do this as easy as this machine can. I say that because the 770 does have the ability to bring decorative stitches over to the embroidery but not nearly as quick as what we just did. There's two ways, and I'm almost positive that I've got a video on doing that with the 770, but to sum it up, on the 770, if we want to use decorative stitches on the, from the sewing side on the embroidery side, we would need to save those decorative stitches to a USB flash drive and pull them up on the embroidery side like we would any other embroidery design. That's probably your quickest way if you have a handful of stitches you wanna work with. Or before we jump from sewing to embroidery by hitting the house button, we would want to leave the decorative stitch on the screen that we want to embroider. So when we come over to the embroidery side, it will automatically be over here in our little heart folder to select. So this little leaf design was a decorative stitch that we had that we were previously sewing on on the sewing side, and because that's the stitch we left off on, it automatically transferred it over to the embroidery side. This is how we had to use how we had to do it in the past, but with the 590, 790, and 880, uh, they Bernina gave us a whole separate folder with all of the decorative stitches to easily select from. So much easier. So that's something that the 790 has over the 770. The other thing that the 790 has over the 770 are the different fonts. So we'll go to our font folder. So the 790 has 18 different fonts where the 770 only has eight. So as you can see here on one page, we can see all the fonts that the 770 has. They're super cute, um, but that's it. The 790 has 18 fonts. So we've got more fonts to choose from, including some that are vertical, which is really nice. And also the 770 does have more built-in designs at around 330, where the 770 has about 275 uh, different embroidered designs. Something else I always really like to point out with all of our Bernina machines that embroider is these machines are able to read just about every brand's format. We can read EXP, DST, PES, PEC, JEF, SEW, PCS, and Triple X. So these are all the embroidered formats that both of these and pretty much all of our embroidered machines can read. So it makes it really easy if you're coming from another brand and you have designs from another brand. So something that's really nice 
with these machines is, well, that's not what I'm saying. So with the 790, something that's really, really nice is if we make any alterations to this design, if we move it, if we change the size or anything, we have the undo and redo button. So if you accidentally make a little mistake, you can hit the undo button and it will undo that mistake. The 770 does not have that. It has the big screen on almost all the functions that the 790 has, but it does not have the undo and redo button, which is very, very handy, as we all know. Something else that the 790 has, which I really, really like, especially when we're working with those awesome decorative stitches. So let's go back to some of these decorative stitches and let's see what we've got. So let's say I've got this beautiful decorative stitch, but I want to quilt this out in a border. So I can come and let's say I want to use my big maxi hoop, which is eight by 16. And I want to make that design bigger. But I've only got one design. And I need a whole row of them. I want to put them in a sash. I want to put them in a border. I want to make them bigger than I am able to make it on the sewing side. So what I'm able to do is this machine, the 790, has endless embroidery, which the 770 doesn't have. That's these little butterflies here. So I can click this. And I can say, okay, I want about five of those decorative stitches. And I want to make sure that I get them to connect so they look like one continuous design. And I can say fit them to hoop or whatever, change the size. But now I have a whole row of these beautiful decorative stitches as one big design. So instead of bringing in or making copies of that same stitch over and over and over, trying to get them to connect here in the endless embroidery, I can take multiple design, I can take a design and I can have it multiply however many times I want to get it to the size I want. I can make it fit the hoop. I can do all this, which is excellent for quilting, excellent for doing um, designs repeatedly so it's endless embroidery it's designed to be endless and so what it will actually do is it will actually stitch markers you can see those two little arrows down at the bottom it'll stitch those markers down once it's done and we'll use those same markers to connect the next row so once we stitch all of this we'll rehoop it and have those little arrows inside the hoop on our second hooping match them up in the machine and it will then connect and stitch all of this um, right connecting from what we already stitched. Super, super cool feature. And that's something that the 770 does not have. It does not have the endless embroidery function. Something that's new to the 770, and it's a really nice function, and it's word art. So they both have word art, but the word art is designed to use the built-in fonts. So since the 790 has a lot more built-in fonts, we can do a little bit, we can't do more with the word art, we just have more fonts to work with in the word art. This is one of those very, very few functions that only works with the designs built into the machine. So let's say I have my name up and I can go to the word art, which is this right here where it says the ABC. So here I'm able to space out the letters if I wanted to, so they're not so close together, which is excellent if you're trying to, if you have a short name or a small word and you're trying to fill up a given area without making the design taller or any bigger, you're able to space out the letters with the top air, the top knob. The bottom knob, we're able to arch. So depending on which way you rotate that knob, will depend on which way that name or that word will arch. And that's the same case on the 770 as well. This is just a new feature on the 770. The 770 does have a lot of new features compared to the 770, the regular 770 that this is replacing. 
So there is another thing that the 770 Plus does not have, and this is pretty neat. So hopefully many of us, if we do have a Bernina, we're familiar with our creative consultant. That's our little mannequin here. It's something we've had for years and years on the sewing side. Now we have that same creative consultant, but on the embroidery side. So we can tell it what type of embroidery we're doing. If you have any questions, you can always hit the question mark button and ask and see what that is. Like this is couching for instance. So let's say if we're doing couching, and let's say if we're doing on, now it's asking what type of fabric, say we're doing it on a medium weight knit, it's going to tell you what type of needle, thread, foot, um, bobbin thread, that you're going to need an aqua film, a medium weight tear away, so all these different things. And um, it really gives up, oops, pressing things, it really sets up up for success with our embroidery. The 7770 does not have that. As you see, I just press the little mannequin and nothing happens. If I was on the sewing side, it would bring up our creative consultant for the sewing. But since we're on embroidery, only the 790 has that function. Another difference is the 790 is sold one way. So when you buy a 790, you get it with embroidery, no questions asked. Now the 770, you have the option, because it's a quilters edition, which what makes our 770 so popular. So if we are a quilter and we just sew things and we don't have any desire to embroider, you can just buy just a 770. So there's a price just for the 770. And then if you want to add embroidery at the time of purchase or later down the road, it does not have to be added at the same time. And for our store, it, there's no price difference. You can add it at the time you buy the machine for, um, for a set amount and for that same amount, unless Bernina happens to increase the price, which they haven't done in a long time on the embroidery modules. For the same price, later down the road, you can add the embroidery module. As you can see, the hardware for embroidery, well, the software for embroidery is already on the machine. There's nothing you have to do with the machine. You just have to connect the embroidery module. It's super easy. So that's another difference. Embroidery comes standard. Here, embroidery is optional. So that's kind of it. That's really the pretty much the differences between the 770 and the 790. Um, there's not a whole bunch of differences. Um, it's just those ones we really discussed. Um, otherwise, everything's pretty much the same. They all use all the same hoops, all the same feet, all the same bobbins, bobbin cases, stitch plates. They both come with the nine millimeter stitch plate and the zero millimeter stitch plate. There's also the five and a half millimeter stitch plate option that's available for, e for either one. I mean, I've got tons of different videos out there working with the 770 plus, the regular 770, and especially the 790. And all that is all fluid between all of our seven series machines for the most part. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Um, and just stay tuned for more of my videos. And as always, happy sewing.